The only important thing, mate, ain't their current form or their record. It's uh, us going up there and playing well. And um, the players have trained very well on uh, Thursday morning. We're going to leave and go up there Friday morning. And everyone's just intent on uh, getting a good performance and, uh, and concentrating on us and how we play and what we do. Well, it's important when you're the manager that you have to manage it and you have to cope with it and deal with it. I don't obviously don't like it. Um, but it's my responsibility to help the players. It's my responsibility to sort, support the players and my responsibility to manage the players and the staff. So if they see me walking around all moping and moaning and complaining, uh, we ain't going to get anywhere, are we? So, um, you know, I can't live like that or I don't work like that or tr I try not to live my life like that. Um, take some of the good parts out of it because there were some really good bits. After 20 minutes, we'd had five uh, opportunities at their goal. They'd had two and scored two. So, um, you know, there's, there's lots of things you can look at and say, well, some of those chances we had in the second half, we had about six chances to have equalised and perhaps gone on and win the game. And it was only right in the last minute that they had another chance. So overall, it wasn't too bad a performance, but um, obviously it's a predicament being 2-0 down at home that you don't really want to face being uh, after 20 minutes. We just do what we normally do. Get up tomorrow morning, players will be in for 9am 9, 9 departure. Um, just go up there and we'll go and sort out a pitch to train on tomorrow afternoon up north and take whatever comes our way. Just go and train and go and play and so, until someone tells us otherwise. We, I don't even bother with it, to be honest. People keep telling me it's all this snow and everything. But I can't ever forget Michael Fish when he done the weather report and said it's going to be a lovely couple of days and uh, one of the worst storms in the history of the world. So I don't take no notice of the weather report. I don't even talk about if it is, if it snows, if it rains, if this and if that. Uh, we've got a game to play Saturday afternoon and we're just going to go and play the game. Uh, someone rings me up and says the game's off, then we get in the bus and come home. And we go back and deal with it when we have to. So it don't really bother me either way. Just get on and deal with it. Whatever comes, deal with it, face it and um, take it on board and move forward. Nothing's been done. There's been talk between the, the football clubs and uh, at the moment that's in the chairman's hands, so um, we'll wait to see what happens. Um, I'm not going to deny that, um, but we'll, we'll, just see, uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Mm, yes, there's been some telephone inquiries, but as yet clubs are talking, and again there's nothing uh, confirmed, no deal has been done, so um, as far as I'm concerned there's really nothing really to talk about. Yeah, there has been uh, conversations taking place. I'm not prepared to discuss who with. Um, all I'll ever do, all I'll ever do, is talk about where, if a deal gets done. If a deal's done, and our supporters need to know, we will let them know. And speculation, and my uncle, mate, my uncle's mate that works down the chip shop, all that sort of stuff. I don't buy all that. I just deal with the facts, and uh, if it's done, it's done. It can't come round quick enough. Um... We want to get back there and get back to winning ways and um, get that away win um, and then come back on our patch for the next three games, which is very important because we ain't won here for a long time. So we need to get back on winning tracks and our home home games as well. So um, No, I really can't really. Um, it's just that we just set up, I think, away from, from home. Um, very tight, very compact. Um, and home games, you should be winning and going out and giving a giving you all to win your home games. So I, I think it's more that we sit back and get an early goal. We've been getting a lot of early goals lately away, and then just sitting there and grinding out a, a win, which we did at Rotherham and South End second half, and obviously Bristol Rovers. So I think that's the only thing I can think of. Well, penalties, goal in it. It just doesn't matter how you score. It's just um, like I say, you've still got to put it away. The best players in the world miss penalties, and uh, it's not—it's not easy. People think it is just because it's from 12 yards and the keeper to beat. Um, but no, it's nice to score from open play, and I know that myself. I need to score more from open plays. But um, I've been in the team and out of the team and in the team, and it's very hard to get momentum going. Um, and obviously, keeping your fitness up to that match fitness. Um, so it was, I went through a bit of a bad patch for a couple of months. Very. Uh, 
not feeling fit, not getting my match fitness, only playing 20 minutes here and there. So um, it was nice of Gaffer to give me a start on against the biggest game probably of the season and get that goal, but obviously to lose. But um, I'm happy with my uh, own performance. Yes, yeah, it's, um, it's difficult for me, um, but I'm not too... Um, we're, all, we're all in it together and we ain't too bothered who, who plays and um, because at the end of the day we're where we are because of what we've done. So... Um, but no, I'm, I'm a, obviously a Gillingham fan, so I don't so I care how we win, <laughs> if I'm playing or not, as long as we win and get promoted. So, um, But yeah, it's tough. Um, obviously, you want to play every game and play as much as football as you can, especially when you're um, getting that bit older. You just need to play as much games as you can. But as long as we're winning and we're up the top, I'm not too too bothered. Oh, I'd, I'd love to finish my career. Obviously, I'm a local boy and it's a club that I support. And um, hopefully that's me, me finishing now, really, I hope. Um, but it's football and you never know what's around the corner you never know what obviously the managers want and so I've just got to keep doing as best as I can for this club um, it don't matter if I'll still go away I'll still be coming back and supporting them for the rest of my life so um, but yes yeah, it's, it's, um, football's funny really you just got to keep it going like until, until they obviously say that's it for you then um, that's obviously that's it and you just go on and enjoy your football somewhere else yeah, hopefully in a championship with Gillingham, <laughs> not anywhere else. But uh, yeah, um, it's obviously, I think um, I've done all right. Like you say, I've scored a lot of penalties since I've been here in the last two years. But like I say, it's, I've been top goal scorer last year and I'm top goal scorer this year. So I must be doing something right. And that's what i just got to keep going into my games, thinking to myself, um, be positive with myself and not um, feeling, feeling a bit nervous on the pitch, thinking, when is this goal going to come? When is this goal going to come? I've just got to keep going and... Um, like I say, I've been top goal scorer the last two years, so I'm doing something right. No, I just go through. It's the best way to think. You just got to think that way that the game's going to be on. And um, if it ain't, then it's a disappointment. Like obviously, last time I, I didn't play, I think I was ill last time against York, so I didn't get to travel out there and stay over and then come back home. So I ain't had that uh, experience. But it is it is a pain sometimes. Like, travel, especially five six hours. Like you spend all day Friday travelling. And then you've got to travel back for, for nothing and then you've got to do it again on a Tuesday night. But um, no, we just prepare right um, as if the game's going to be on. And um, obviously if it ain't, then it's a pain. But if it is, then we'll be ready.